video processing by using OpenCV 3.1 and Visual Studio 2015. There is some example for opening the video camera and saving the video and how to access each frame of the video. First of all, include this library from the OpenCV and plus plus also name a space cv and std and two variables for math and two array two vector of math for using in the function okay the basic we want to get some information about the video that we have here uh, there is two strings, the path of the video and the name of the video file here and we want to get some information about this video for example how many frames and resolution of the image and frame per second okay we run this function Okay. 64 frame the resolution is 6040 and 480 and frame per second 30 frame per second okay. this is the information of the video that in the following function we can use another sample of code for OpenCV in order to read the video each frame by each frame here we can open the video file here we put the path and the name and if uh, we open it and we count frame of the video by the previous function we show how many frames that the video have so by this function we can get how many frames we have in the loop based on the frames we can read the video frame by frame and show them okay we run this function okay this is the video and each frame by each frame we show the video The third function. The third example about the changing the frame or image of the video. For example, in this example, we change it the color space from BGR to grayscale. The OpenCV use BGR, not RGB. So we change it the color to the grayscale and we show. Now we run this function. Right. Another example to using the video in OpenCV, we can save. Now we open the video, same as previous example. And now, after changing the color to the gray scale, we save it. And here we can save just uh, in order to save the frame 40, for example. We save the frame 40 and show the frame 40 that we save. Okay, we run this one. The image name will be frame 40 JPEG. Should be appear here. We run the program and
frame 40. Now the frame 40. Same as previous example, we open the video file and then count how many frames and in the loop we read each frame by each frame from the video file. This is the video capture, put to the frame and show the original frame, change the color, show again and here we get the path uh, in order to save the image name. By function of I am right, we can save the image. Another example. Here when we want to use vector to save all frames, and later we can access to each frame that we want. Here we define a, a vector, the type mat, and the name. So, in the, uh, this vector, based on the number of frames that we have, we resize it. Now this vector have a number of frames of the video. So, in the loop, put by function copy to put the mat to the this array later on we can use any of the frame number we want for example we can show the frame number 30 by just using the vector and 30 okay Okay, this is the frame 30. Another example, write a video. In this example, we read the video and change it and write it another video file in OpenCV. For using the video writer, you, you must use video writer. It's a function of OpenCV and here same as previous example, we open the video, this is the input video and count how many frames and here we can mention the size. The size of the output video same as input video. So based on the information from the video we can get the size and resolution of the video. Create a video writer and create a path and here the video format. Okay, now by opening the video writer, we get the path of the video and we get the format, frame per second, resolution, and here if you want to grayscale image, grayscale video, you must use false. If you want color video, you must use true. Here we want to change the original video to the Gary scale video, so we use false in order to save the Gary scale video. Here in the loop, we read the original video frame by frame, change the color, and finally we write that frame, we change it to the Gary scale on the new video file. The name of the new video file is a new video. Here we don't have a new video, so we run the program. Okay. 
now here a new video another example same as previous example we read the video change it and save it here but we use two other function in order to trade age Gaussian Beller, Beller of the image, and Kenny. Kenny is the age detection. We detect the age, so we save the age of the video frame by frame and write it to another video file. The name of the new file, a new video age area. So we run this program, this function. Okay, this is the age. And here a new video edge. How to use webcam by using OpenCV library? Same as video. Here we use zero, zero, one, two, depend on how many webcam you connect to the PC if you use zero which means default webcam that you use previously we put part of the video file but here we use zero which means default webcam and open the webcam into loop we read and grab the frame by webcam and show it Okay. 